If you look inside a seed, you'll see variations on the same thing. An embryo with its cotyledons, the infant plant. The endosperm, which is a starchy portion that provides nutrition to the seedling before it really gets going with photosynthesis. And most pertinent to this discussion, the seed coat. The seed coat is the hard surface that surrounds and protects the seed prior to germination. With most of our normal garden seeds, all that's needed to get sprouting started is a little bit of water, soil, and sunlight. The seed coat will give way, but with some seeds, the seed coat is meant to protect the seed through the entirety of a long, cold, wet winter. The seed of certain plants just won't give away just with sun and water. It needs a serious wake-up call to let down its defenses. With some plants, this comes in the form of fire and smoke. With others, a certain period of freezing and thawing is necessary. And with still others, extensive soaking or even mechanical breaking of the seed coat is required to start germination. Now, though it may be annoying or challenging for the home grower to get these specialized seeds started, bear in mind that these seeds are often amazingly perfectly adapted to their native environments. If they were grown on their home turf, they'd do these processes naturally. So when we start these seeds in our human ways, we're basically doing the best we can to mimic winter or a brush fire. 